Today, we're going to be reacting to the mail. Yes, that is correct. Today, we're going to be looking at a video where this male Karen gets out of control in front of these kids, from what I see. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> so, I know it's early. You threatened us. You want that phone to go in the lake? Back what? Back Back up they up break kids' rods. That's crazy. Your parents are going to be real proud of that. Yo, don't touch my rod. Don't well, guys, it's not every day that you get to see something as pathetic as you will today. It appears that once again, the government has put the Karen elixir in our water supply because videos of people blowing up over the most minor situations are beginning to pop up everywhere like they were a few years ago. I mean, that's the only logical explanation, right? I don't know exactly what's causing it, but it seems like over the last six months or so, six months to me, it seems this like has been going on for years. A lot of life, I'm starting to think why. It's honestly reminding this has been me going on for years, even COVID before those Karen you know, videos were days. popping up everywhere because everybody was pissed off. So the Karens were worse than ever. And today we are looking at a video that looks like it came straight out of 2020. An HOA Karen going absolutely ballistic on what looks like two 13 year olds fishing. What's wrong with that? I promise you, you've never seen anybody who's more of a joke of a man than this loser. It's on this man, a loser is a weird statement. Yo, don't touch my rock. Why? Passing on private property. Don't threaten us. You're Didn't have to snap that kid's fishing rod in half. Like, there would have been a better way to handle this situation. But no, this guy had the audacity to just automatically snap the freaking rod in half and didn't let him explain. Really, that's crazy. Oh, now he's threatening the phone on the lake. You want that phone to go in the lake? All right, so Mr. What? Tennessee Strong here really comes out swinging, looking to square up on what looks to be like a 12-year-old. I'd be curious to see if this guy gave the same treatment to two 20-year-olds or something. Look, I never That'd be go kind after of a weird, though, I'm not gonna lie. because it's just not right, but I'm going to make an exception given the context. This guy can hardly make it across a section of ground that has like a 10-degree incline to it. I think I have a feeling as to why he's so willing to square up to a child. It's because it's the only demographic he feels tough against. Whoa. Back away from here. Back away from here. Back up. Back up from here. Back up from here. Back up from here. Get out of here. Back up from here. How'd I take that phone and put it in the lake? Yeah, now I'll press charges. Yeah, but buddy, you're damn near a senior citizen who just got all in the face of a middle schooler and now you're threatening another one. What do you mean for what? Do you think you're allowed to break people's sh and threaten them? Well, Absolutely I mean, not. Actually, That's yeah, just... you probably do because you're this age and you're acting like an eight year old having a temper tantrum. What a loser. <laughs> wow. Like assault, what? For what? Assault. Yeah, I'm not assaulting you. Get out of here. We're just gonna wait. We're not gonna mess with anything. Get out of here. We're You're fishing in a private lake. Whoa. Get out of here now. The cops are coming. We're just waiting for them. Okay, good. Yeah, we're the cops. We're, we're gonna them. prosecute. So your parents are gonna be real proud of that. We're going to prosecute you, and you're going to pay all kinds of money because you're being a- By looking at this video, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like the kids who are recording this video is more mature than this guy over there. Karen's have, like, the tendency to get mad. They'll be burning Walmarts. It's like freaking chaos. That's all. Really. Issue I can relate to. I am man's from Tennessee. Angler, if you will. That, I have by a the shirt. Rule of never fishing on so I guess the sixth place in Tennessee. That you shouldn't do, and I also just don't want. But you shouldn't fish on land you don't have permission to. That's not something I'm gonna say these kids are in the right for doing. However, as three grown I adults agree. trying to handle this situation, this is not how you do it. Now, obviously, we didn't see what led up to this. These two kids could have been being disrespectful little property, but they are handling this situation better than three fully grown adults that's pretty sad exactly you're being a dick. You you're, sir, you're i said running. that before you're on private property sir. young man i'm just trying to fish you threatened us you walked up get out of here you're on private property get out of here believe i would do in that situation and call the police we try to get a hold of your parents oh parents you call them i don't feel like it I just talked to the police. Parents. I'm gonna just talk to the police. You don't even know their number. You live in a, your parents live in this neighborhood? Don't worry about that. Hey, listen, he knows I'm pretty sure what if uh freaking parents are the Karen's? You never know, but he said he, he, said he, he did, did, but I think he's Smith. Lying. Do you know any Smith lives in here? No. 
Okay, so what's your real name, buddy? Look, I have pretty oh, mixed no. feelings on HOAs. The reality of the situation, in my opinion, is that most of them really aren't that bad. I feel like the horrors of living in an HOA are often kind of exaggerated by the internet, not gonna lie. But <laughs> like this is what gives them a bad name. Now look, sure, obviously these three have the right to want these kids off their property. But who the fuck cares? Like if they weren't doing anything, if they were really just fishing, how miserable of a life do you have to be living to care this? much. Well, I'm not trying to be a hole here, but let's take a look at the guy in the back here. I mean, come on, he doesn't exactly look like a spring chicken. If I'm in my 70s and I'm spending what could be the last few valuable years of my life cussing out some children for fishing, I mean... Oh my. <laughs> that's the way you can say it, I, mean, I guess. These houses look pretty nice. You guys clearly aren't struggling. Go to Florida or something. Anything but this. My God. I'm not telling... I'll, I'll tell the police that. I'm not telling y'all that. Wait, what's you the problem? Live in here. What's okay, we're, we're just gonna wait till the police. We're waiting for the police. He's the president. He's lived here for years. President? He's lived here for years. president? He's no Smith that lives in here. We could stop fishing, but like we're just gonna wait for the police. You don't live in here. We're gonna wait for the police he knows to be here. Every family in here. We're just gonna wait for the police. I mean, really. Where are you guys from, man? Tennessee. Tennessee. Well, your parents would be proud of you. Why don't you send me that video? I'll send them and show you what a fine young man they're raising. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, wow. Dork. This dude literally sounds like he's about to start crying having an argument with two 15-year-olds. Your parents would be proud, really, dude? What? Like, his parent. Oh, wait, I don't know if I should be saying that. But anyways, the way that he's handling this situation, I've said this before, is not what you should treat like kids. Even they're dealing with it better than he is. But send it to the internet. Wait, it's already on the internet. Even being in your late 50s and you get so worked up that you're about to cry having an argument with a child and you decide to attack how somebody else is living. Ugh. Because you won't listen it to an adult. You get my you're face. in private yeah, property. We're going to wait for the get police. Out of here. We, you were asked about you for assault to a minor. You, you you asked 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 assaulting a minor. Let's go. Let's go to a kid who doesn't even have a hair on his chin. No offense to you, brother don't mean for you to be catching strays but this dude is actually the most pathetic man i've ever seen in my life this is insane i mean this dude is on the path for going to jail for beating up a kid and it's not even for a good reason okay maybe maybe i shouldn't say it that way uh what i mean is that this is not something to be this angry over like oh no two kids i agree who are fishing in my neighborhood who are both willing to wait for the police to <laughs> get arrested for result. that that'd be funny oh my god the horror like if it really means that much to this guy he could have just walked up and said hey this pond is for residents only if you don't live here i'm gonna have to ask you guys to leave and if they don't then he just calls the police and it's done with instead this guy's probably gonna end up getting a charge you're saying let's go that's a threat and you smell like alcohol on your breath i can smell oh he's drunk you're right somebody got all this on video we're now we're just gonna wait for the police yeah good thank you and i'm gonna show one of those poles gets thrown into the lake I'm gonna snap it in half. No, you're not, because the police are gonna press charge on you. You're gonna be arrested and yep. paying for them. Okay. Uh, on, I promise you. Yeah, they could probably. I'm showing the police this video, and Good. you're gonna get arrested. Good. Good. I can't wait to see you walk away and hang there. So, I guess, uh, oh, it title said Drunk Karen. Bro is hammered, bro. He's actually hammered. ...minded little guy that a 15-year-old not doing what you told him to makes you this angry. This is insane behavior. I hope this guy gets everything that's coming to him from this video going viral. He deserves an expensive lesson. You cannot be this age acting in this manner. You don't get to just get away with that. That's not how it works. Yo. You can't do that? You're not to leave politely. Yeah, but you can't break my property. property. This guy is just hmm. doubling down to the end, isn't he? Really riding that private property justification, huh? What's funny is it doesn't seem like they're in his backyard. They were very clearly talking about how they can't prove they don't live there. Imagine these kids actually did have permission from one of the residents. This guy uh, just ruined his life. It looks like that backyard. Is Look at well, these guys, houses. I think, think that's whole Are backyard. I think that both of them were kind of in the wrong. Let me explain. You see that they were on their private property and I technically trespassing, but I'm kind of on their side too because the guy who handled the situation did not handle it the way that he should have and it's not right. And broken $200 rods, he was hammered. That's crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video from my channel and... Comment down below what you guys think about this entire situation if you actually watched the entire video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.